Libra is going to be for all placements. Libra, let's get a secret message from your person, their emotions for you. All right, Libra. So let's see what is going on. Um, Guys, we are open for personal um, readings. Quick message for you guys. Quick announcement. Okay, in case you didn't know, Libra. All right, so if you need anything personal from me, everything you need to know is down in the description box about how to get you booked in. They are Zoom readings, and the camera is optional on Zoom. Libra, also make sure that you are subscribed to your areas only placements. Left tarot, honey, anywhere areas is in you, your person's chart, any karmic energy attachments. You have readings ready for you over there. Okay? Okay, guys, Libra, let's jump in. These are general messages, so take what is for you. Simply leave what is not yours. Okay, Libra, I'll be reading all the signs and interviews I hear for, I see um, in here, here for you, okay? <laughs> so, you know, all right? I will also be able to imitate anything in your energy, Libra, okay? The energy is flowing. It will fluctuate back and forth between you and your person, all right? So let's see what else is going on with you, Libra. Whatever is happening here can be happening physically and or spiritually. Messages for the collective of Librans we have here. This is for all placements, Libra. Almighty, beautiful universe. Thank you for your lovely support. And guidance today, messages for Libra. Let's get a secret message from their person. All right, let's see. Ashamed. Oh, you taught this person a lesson. They, uh, they are ashamed. You could be uh, connecting to an Aries, but um, they learned a lesson, or you taught this person a lesson. But they are ashamed. They have guilt. They're embarrassed. They know they are in the wrong. I feel like you also forced somebody to like grow up. Yep, goodbye. This is when you, like, walked away from this person. This is also somebody here that you um, could have divorced. Mm. Yeah. Oh, reckless sex. Karmic ties. I feel like um, this is somebody here that... I feel like you said good, but this is somebody you had a karmic tie with. Yup, and you you broke a karmic tie with this person. Yeah, this was a narcissist, somebody that was selfish, um, stubborn, arrogant, had a lot of pride and ego. And you walked away. Matter of fact, you could have ran away from this person. And now you're living your life. They feel like you're, you know... They could they could have tell maybe at first because of how things were going on. Which yeah, this is somebody here that you could have been married to for some of you guys. Yeah, they had a sex addiction. You definitely could be connected to an Aries or someone who have Aries in your chart. Now they're trying to like find out where you are. This is somebody that might want to talk to you or something. Or they want to know where you're going. Or, you know, if you're, you know, if you're talking to somebody. Damn. But they are ashamed. Show me more about the karmic lesson. They had this is also somebody to be honest with you. It's like. Maybe you've also felt like this person was seeing other people, other karmics. And it was like my way or the highway kind of shit. It's like, you know, that's what they wanted to do. So they were going to do what they wanted to do. You could have felt this person also wasn't like protecting yourself or some shit like that. I'm picking up on. Like they're reckless. Like, you know, you're, it's like too much going on out here. You're not protecting yourself. You're just fucking people. Cool, do that. I don't want to be involved in that or something like that. What's the karmic lesson? Yeah. Maybe you found somebody found out somebody was for the streets, so you gave their ass back to the streets. <sighs> Child, yes. Yeah, somebody here is getting back to the streets. Somebody's giving somebody back to the streets. What's the karmic lesson? Yep. Bam. Yeah, somebody here thought they were sneaky. Now this person don't want to be sneaky no more. Because they know you are leaving them out in the cold and you are starting a new cycle. Yeah. They know this six of swords and the two of swords. They keep going back and forth in, in, in their like in their mind about this. Yeah, this person might pop up out of nowhere, and they've been um trying like uh, looking you up online. They could be looking at your posts and shit like that. 
Give me more on this karmic lesson. So this is someone here that's like, you taught they ass. Well, you taught their ass. What's going on? Yeah, I taught love affair. And um, avoiding. Now you're running. You're avoiding this person. You are a divine feminine, but they wasn't trying to... Maybe this person was in denial that you were their divine feminine or some shit like that. Now they, now they want to confess. Look at this. Hold on. Now they want to confess. They could be um, having some kind of court issues that they want to tell you about. They could have gotten in trouble with a karmic child. This person, this is happening now. Somebody here has gotten in trouble with a karmic. This karmic could be taking them to court or something. Now they wish they could be obsessing over you now. But they scared you're going to want retaliation. Is what I'm picking up on. We also have angel number 6-5. And we have... Hold on, hold on. Hold on, wait a minute. We got 7 5 six, two. Let's get you um, an angel number here and see what's going on. This person's in their feelings. They had feelings for you. Or maybe they, they made them realize the kind of cup that you guys shared. Now they feel some kind of way is what I'm getting. 7562, let's get your angel number. Okay, angel number 7562 urges you to get in touch with spirituality, the angels. Second, you to long for a more profoundly unique relationship with God. Oh my gosh. This person has been trying to clean up their self. They've been trying to clean up their energy, get right with God spiritually. You, it's like they, but this lesson, this is why they love and appreciate you, respect you. Because if you would have never stood up to this person like this, they would have never like faced yourself. Or like got their shit together or their self together. That's how they feel. They were reckless. They were being open. They were like fucking around. They weren't. They didn't love themselves enough to like realize what they were doing. Maybe they were just thinking about temptation. Like you opened their eyes out up to like self love and what that's really about. There's also someone here. Be they have uh, to thank you to get closer to God. You were the reason they got closer to God. If it wasn't for you, so you were like your. You know, because of this energy they have with you, you know, they have a, a closer uh, connection to God. Now they're intimately, like, they feel, yeah, burdened by this. The Ten of Wands. They also feel like, you know, you maybe they're not going to get infection from you no more. No Five of Wands. And this person does think that you are seeing somebody else. They could want to, yep, they do. Secretly, the moon. This is how they feel secretly. They want to fight for this. They think that's your confirmation. They do. Somebody here feel like if you're dating somebody new, child, they will fight. This person here will put hands and feet on somebody if they find out that you are dating somebody new. A new ace of ones. Yep, they know you got options. They don't give a damn. They will fight for you because they know you're worth. I won't be surprised if that card come out. Five of pentacles. They know you ain't playing with them. Um, let's see what else is going on here. Yeah. Yeah, Sutton Wealth and the Knight of Swords. So it's like, things could be moving fast for you. Some of you guys could have, like, had a glow up or something like that. You are stepping into your abundance or something like that. Yep. This person knows this. They've been watching your social media. Ooh. Expectations in reverse. You're not expecting. Look. This person wants to give you something gift. You're not expecting something that somebody wants to give you. Yep, the Ace of Swords. And they want to tell you the truth. Ten of Pentacles, yep, about how they feel. And you don't know this because this is a secret. Yep, they do. They see you guys as family. It's like, look. It's like you help them elevate their life. That's how they feel. Let's get their expressions towards you. Libran. Yeah, that's just for Libran. Uh-uh. What's their expressions towards Libra? Oh, yeah. Someone here wish they could be the fly on the wall. They hear, you know, what you really think of them because this is how they really feel about you. Yep. And this person wants to be there for you. They like care you. They could think about like taking care of you. Yeah, they do. That's what they think secretly though. Yeah. And they know they had like bad attachments. But they clean their, like, self up. They clean up their energy. Let's see what they want to say to you. 
yeah, what they want to say to the collective to Libra. Okay, Libra. What does this person want to say to Libra? What's the message from this person? Sorry for breaking your trust. I cannot That's make this shit sick. up. Damn, I'm good. I fucking love it. Um, yeah. They know you don't trust them. How you gonna trust them again? Be adaptive and receptive to lead or love to divine growth. Now they want to grow things with you. I'm so appreciative of everything you've been giving me the whole time. Yeah, now they can appreciate what you was giving them the whole time. They just couldn't before. Let's heal past trauma and solve inner conflicts. Boom, there it is. That's what they want to do. That's what they're ready to do. This is somebody, somebody here is on edge. I want you to know this is somebody here that will really feel like they will fight anybody that they feel like you are with. I can feel this person. It's like they will snap out about you. It's because of the, like, you know, men protect what nurtures them. You nurture something in them that they, they don't, they never find and push them to God and push them and that, that's how they feel. Emotional freedom. They feel like, yep, look at this, love popped out. They could be free with you. Their love is free with you. Yep, life purpose. Yeah, they feel like you help this person tap into their life purpose. Yep, and that's why they want to heal with you. That's exactly what I'm getting. And they have a lot of self-respect for you. I want to show you something in this card. You see this earth angel right here and the star seed? The star seed is coming into the light because of the earth angel. You help a star seed. Sometimes star seeds get caught up in their moon sign because that's who they manifest. But you help somebody come also and you're a light to this person. Yep, and they, they're hurt. I told you, luminosity. You're the light to this person. And that's why they'll hurt somebody over you. What's the universal messages? Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's why. We got the seventh choir. Yep, they've been being watched by the higher ups. Yep, Archangel Zakiel. This is someone here also that won't stop. Um, it's not going to be easy. This person's going to fight for your attention. It's not going to be easy to get rid of them just like that. We got Q. What's this? Fifth choir. Yep, this person's praying for a miracle. They've been praying about this. They could be also putting this in a universe praying. Like, God, you know, just please help me get back to my person. You know, they've been talking to God more. Let's get an ancestor message, a message from your ancestors on this. All my beautiful universal Holy Spirit ancestors. What is the message for a Libra? Mm -hmm. Something here, the springtime, high priestess. Whatever they're secretly working on, it's like the springtime. Yep, you're going to see them be brave and unlock their inner magic. So they're manifesting something. They know that you are shielded with them. Yeah, because it, I'm telling you, you have brought this person closer to God. You have brought this person closer to Jesus. Closer. Maybe they didn't know how to pray. Or something. It's like they know about prayer, but you taught them how to pray. You know about intuition, but you taught them how to tap in intuitively or something like that. Yeah, they could, uh, uh, um, direction and guardian. So they're trying to, the ancestors are trying to lead this person into a high vibration, uh, direction between y'all. Maybe because they are healing through God, through source. Someone here can also be connecting to the cherubims. The second choir, we have Cancerian, Sectorius, and a 10th house, Capricorn. Yeah, we also have Aqua Aquarius here. Yeah. Someone here can have any of those signs in their 10th house. We got to sort you dead. This person learned a lesson, Saturn. Saturn teaches you lessons, honey. Sometimes harsh lessons. They did. Look at, uh, and, and, and see, that's the thing. And now they want to talk to you. We are in the, um, the new world, the era of Aqua Aquarius. It brought them closer to you, a better understanding of what y'all have. Now they cherish it, and they want to cherish you, Libran. But Libran, you rule justice. You are justice of the cosmos. So this person feels liberated and justified through you. It, it brought them justification. It brought them to God. They better do some research. They must not know about you, Libran. <laughs> 
All right, I love you, Librans. Um, I hope this helps you out in more than one way. All right, guys. Libra, I would like to personally thank you for all your love, donations, and support, frequency, and vibrations to our channels. You're so dope. Um, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that bell, hit also your tapped into your messages at all times, and you will be notified when they're ready for you, Libra, and stay dope. I'll catch you in your next video upload. Ashe in a mind.